Hello, in this video we're going to talk about functions of several variables. So back in Calculus 1, we examined functions of a single variable, such as y equals f of x. Our domain is usually some subset of the real numbers, and then over here we have our codomain. And if we look at a function that maps from x to y, let's say we've got uh, f of x equals x squared. So for example, in goes a 2, this is our input set, and that gets mapped over here to 4. And we might have another value over here in our domain or our input set, and that also matches to 4. And we have lots of values that we map, and so many I cannot even list them all. Okay, But the idea is we're taking a subset of the real numbers, in fact all the real numbers in this particular example, and we're mapping them over here to the codomain. And if we were to plot that, we've got our x and y axis, these functions look like some sort of curvy line. In this case it looks like a parabola. Okay, and that's pretty much calculus one. We do all sorts of things in here. We do derivatives, we do integrals, area under a curve, and things like that. And we do all of that for these single variable functions. And single variable because there's only one input now in Calculus 3, we're going to examine functions of several variables. And before we get into the math, I'd like to give you some intuition about these several variable functions. So first of all, think about sea surface temperature. Okay, This is a really nice example of a function of at least two variables. So you could imagine latitude and longitude being two input coordinates and then the output is temperature okay and that's visualized in this graph with color a different example might be happiness you know what is happiness a function of well we don't know we're looking at that um, but maybe it's a function of friends how many friends you have how much time you spend with your family time to pursue hobbies maybe money maybe not money we don't know but the point is is that a person's happiness is probably a multivariable function and as a side note, I'll let you know that there's actually work being done here at UVM. There's a hedonometer.org project led by Dodds and Danforth. I was actually a part of this project for my uh, PhD work here at UVM. And there is a, a really fascinating interactive graphic available here at hedonometer.org. So if you're interested in happiness and data science, highly encourage you to check that out. All right, so let's get into the math and the Calc 3 here. Okay, so let's get into the math. We have a definition. A function f of two variables is a rule that assigns to each ordered pair in a set d. Okay, where is d? d lives over here in the x, y, but there's set d. So we'll label this set d. And so the idea of a function of two variables, we're going to pick x, y coordinates that live in d and map them to some real number over here. So when you take f and you hit it, you go f of x, y, your output will look like f of x, y, and sometimes we call that the z coordinate. So a function f of two variables is a rule that assigns to each ordered pair x, y in a set d a unique real number denoted f of x, y. So this is your domain the domain is now a subset of R2. And over here is your codomain. This is some sort of subset of the real numbers. Okay, and this is a subset of, as I said, R2 or the Cartesian plane. <clears throat> so let's take a look at a, a visualization. You know, what do these functions of two variables really look like? Well, here's one really nice example. So I'm going to imagine what looks like an upside down bowl or maybe somebody's head. However you want to think about this, or it looks like a kind of a dome shape. Okay, so you, you can imagine that this looks like somebody's hat or a head, whatever you want to think of. Okay, so this uh, function is a function of two variables. So you can think about multivariable functions as quote unquote lumpy bumpy surfaces okay so just generally speaking you know you've got some 
lumpy bumpy surface up here who knows what it does we'll, we'll graph them of course but basically it's some lumpy bumpy surface that's hanging up above some domain set and your domain set lives down here in the x y plane okay so you've got your input values and for each of those input values when you apply f when you f it you get up here to your f of x y or your z coordinate however you want to think about that okay so these are lumpy bumpy surfaces you know here's a here's a good visual when you're home in bed at night you know think about your bed I'm not an artist but I'll try um, so you've got your bed here and you're sleeping so let's put you here sleeping along your feet sticking up in the air and maybe your hands um, so a lumpy bumpy surface you know think about yourself lying in bed at night you've got this sheet that covers you right you've got this sheet that covers down over the bed this is a lumpy bumpy surface right this is exactly what we mean by f of x y it's a function of two variables for each x y coordinate there's some f of x y or z coordinate associated to it 